Yo, what's up? It's time for the lesson of the week. Thought I'd start with a lick. It goes D, E, C, A, B, A, G. We'll do that in three octaves. So I love this lick. I wanted to put it over a bunch of different chords. So I started out with C major. One note, add a G sharp. Here we go. Sinister. I like that. But play D minor. Beautiful. You don't have to just sit there. A minor. Little Hendrix for you. F major. So if you're in the key of C, you can play any chord in the key of C, and it's totally logical and viable for me to play that under a lick or a scale or something. Um, and if you're in C, you have D minor, E minor, F major, G, A minor, B half diminished to C. Um, I mean, all the colors are invoked there. You now, instead of having one chord, have seven chords, and if you change one note, you know, you have C major 7 sharp 5, allows you to have A flat major 7 sharp 5, and B fully diminished, and, you know, we already said we had B half diminished, so we have all these different colors, we play F minor, you know, just by changing one note. So, um, beyond the fact that you can change one note within the chord, you could go back to the lick even, and uh, you know, change the notes in the lick to fit a different scale. So say you wanted to play this lick in C harmonic major. So it was already, uh, let's say D, E, C, A, B, A, G. Now we have to change the A to A flat or G sharp. And we do that three octaves. You can do that with any like in any scale and like change one or two notes to adjust to the scale and um, of course you'll have like a million different ways to play this one idea uh, so I hope you enjoy that and uh, take it for food for thought and use it in your own playing peace out everybody